Hey guys, I'm gonna give it back here for the video, guys. Today we're gonna talk about farm accounts. Talk about how to transfer coins from farm accounts to your main accounts. Best method to do right now with, of course, this new most for your promo being out in the game. So let's go ahead and get it started right away. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start this off by saying I do not believe you will get banned from using farm accounts. I know there are so select people who did get banned for using farm accounts, but like I've said in many videos, based on what I have seen, and I do have 15 farm accounts. And everyone I know personally, they have not had their farm accounts touched at all. So I don't know why EA is targeting certain people, but it did seem like they did. And they target certain people. So if you get your farm account banned, again, I don't know why. It was like a select few people EA targeted. Maybe there's some other things going on that EA doesn't like about them. I don't know. But anyway, let's talk about farm accounts. So starting off right away, what we're going to do is you want to go ahead and go to the auction house. I'm inside the store. And you want to buy these packs right here, the 500 coin packs. The reason why is every pack you buy, you're going to go ahead and post it up on the trade block. Once you go ahead and post that up on the trade block, now you're going to go ahead and go over to your trade block and you're going to see that I do have 10 cards up that I posted. Now for your farm accounts, go ahead and make sure you add yourself on your farm account. Whatever farm account you're using, add your main profile onto that farm account and vice versa. And then let's go ahead and switch over to my farm and we're going to go ahead now and switch over and actually show you guys what we're going to transfer over now the way i like to transfer the way i've been transferring for the last like month or so has been using strictly just the um what's called just the heavyweight players i've been just using them to transfer coins over and how i do it pretty much is that i buy a card for whatever amount of coins i have in my farm account i transfer it over to my main account i quick sell for training and i open up the heavyweight packs heavyweights the um they kind of went down in value a little bit with the new edition of the heavyweights but the other ones i've been doing is flashbacks kind of just take a look on my head and you kind of see how much these cards are going for and everything like that and it kind of gives you a general gist of how much you actually like or should be spending or going after these cards so um i actually was on this uh one thing right here anyway let's go ahead and go to players and let's go to heavyweights real fast so um let me see where are the heavyweights i know with the new ones coming out they kind of went down value. you can see there are some low overall ones if you get the offense alignment but the heavyweights if you get d law or record you get 120k anything pretty much here up you make a decent profit so again i've been kind of going heavy on these heavyweights because a lot especially at night time like late at night these cards actually go really heavy up in price so I've been going after them a lot of uh, flashbacks. I haven't really been touching as much because you can see the price tag of flashbacks are absolutely awful. So I'd probably go ahead and probably fade the flashbacks. Uh, veterans are the same concept. I wouldn't really go after them. And rising stars are literally the same concept. They're really cheap. So again, I wouldn't go after any of those. I'd probably strictly stay to just flash uh, heavyweight players. But that's one way I've been transferring coins. It's just, again, like I had 26,000 coins. I go ahead and buy a card for 26,000 coins and transfer it to my main account. We'll talk about how to transfer in a second. So now let's go ahead and get into this. So the sets we have, in the, the packs we have in the store right now for treats are going to go ahead and be the 100, of course, for the 80, 80, 79 to 83 overall, and then the 85 plus overall. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. First off, the way I like to do this personally is buy the card on my farm account. So you can see I'm going to go ahead and buy auction and trades right here. I'm going to go ahead at 26,000 coins. I'm not sure what I can actually buy. I think I could buy like an 85 overall, I believe. Oh, no, 80, uh, 83, 85. Might be 85. I think it's 85. It's 85. Okay. I can buy an 85 overall for this price tag right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to buy this card right here. Now, keep in mind, I when I got bid out, do not. I'll say this again. Do not use the auction house to transfer coins, okay? Never, ever, ever buy a card off the auction house and transfer coins doing that from farm from account to account. I did that. I'm going to admit I did it on one of my accounts. I got my account banned. My account got banned for a uh, coin distribution. I, didn't, I haven't bought coins or sold coins, but I got my account banned because I did exactly what I'm talking about right there. I transferred coins to the auction house. And I know a lot of people get banned from transferring coins to the auction house. So if you can always avoid that. And oh my gosh, it's just annoying trying to buy these cards, bro. 
But if you can, always avoid that. Never use that. Always use the trade block. Um, it is the best method to do it. And oh my gosh, am I not? Okay, I'm going to lose this one because that's 19,000 coins. For example, though, sniping these cards up on video yesterday, sniping these cards is the best way to do it. I'm going to buy 23,000 coins just for the video's sake. And I even, dude, what the absolute heck? Half of these cards are sold by the time we do this. Let's go ahead and go center. Let's see if I can buy any of these cards. Okay, go for the second one. All right, 24,000 coins. I would, if I was actually doing this for myself and not showing for video, I would wait and buy that card myself for like 19,000. But for video's sake, we're going to speed this up. So what we're going to do is go to the trade block right here. Go down to limit users and make sure, again, your friends on your farm account and your main account, vice versa, friends only. Now you can see only my cards are shown. No other cards but my own are actually shown right now. I'm going to sort this by newest, and I'm going to go to Matt Paradox. I'm going to offer him on my left guard here. And like I said, guys, I know some people have said that they have gotten banned doing exactly what I'm showing here. But I'll tell you one thing. I do this roughly around... 20 30 cards a day i've completed every team of the team diamond set doing this method and i have not gotten banned i have 15 farm accounts i've not had one issue i said this before i said it again i do not believe and i 100 do not believe ea is tracking the auction house i mean the trade block they only track the auction house that's all they track so them not tracking the auction i mean trade block I don't think they can. I think they can only trade the auction house. And I think that's how people get banned is you using the auction house. I know some people said they have never used the auction house to got banned. Again, like I said, it's a very select few. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, though, my trade block right here, you can see I did offer my card and I go down here. I accept the exact card I offer it on just like that. Go ahead and accept it. Now I'm going to go back and you can see I have the card now. And now the cool thing about trading card over from farm account is it has zero, zero effect on the card other than it being non-auctionable. It is so tradable. I can still trade this card to any single team, any single account I want to. It has the full quick sell value, whether that is training or, of course, treats. It has the ability to, again, like I said, be traded. I can put this into any set I want to. So if I want to complete the Troy Pumalamalamalo set, I can. I can do this for a lot cheaper then if I were to go ahead, of course, and complete this set, uh, whatever I would do in my main account, because I have farm account coins, right? So let's go ahead now and quick sell this for 275 uh, treats. So now, like you saw, I can do this on all five of my farm accounts. If I have five, you have four farm accounts. Do all four of my farm accounts, I can do the same exact method. Now, if I go ahead and go over to this, the one I would personally go for is probably the 85 plus overall pack. So I'd wait a little bit and try to get your uh, treats stacked up. And then go and go for that one. But again, that's the one I would personally go for. But you can go for any of these in all honesty. Um, if you have a lot of coins on the farm account, 87 overall pack could be your best bet because it's 50,000 coins per card you pull. Uh, that's the reason why though I would like to go for this one. Just because again, you have a chance at a lot less, 300 less, and you can get a 90 overall card in this. I don't, you can't get a 90 overall card in this one. You can only literally get an 87 and that is it. For this one, you can see, let's go ahead and look at the odds. All right, it doesn't show us the odds. But again, 85 overall is probably what you're going to be getting. But sometimes you get 87, you get a 90 overall. So I would probably go for this one more of the risk here. But other than that, guys, that is how I'm transforming coins right now. Is either through this set right here, this pack in the store, or using the heavyweight players right now in the store, 4,500 uh, training. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and comment down below. Remember, I have two other channels. All games, YT, and Ryan Tim Tech. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.